Hey guys, if you like this makeup look and want to see how to recreate it with using only drugstore products, stay tuned to the video. I'm going to start first by just pinning back my bangs. They're kind of getting in the way and that is a problem. I am going to prime my eyes to get ready for the eyeshadow and I'm just going to use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind concealer to prime them. I'm going to put this down as a base and then I am going to use my airspun over it. Just kind of set it down a little bit so it's not so tacky and sticky so that the eyeshadows just blend really smoothly. Okay, now that I'm done with my concealer, I am going to take my airspun powder and I'm just gonna put a little bit on my eyes just to set it, just so it's not so tacky and sticky like I said. And then I'm going to move on to eyeshadow from there. Just take a little bit. And just cover the eyelid so it's not so tacky and sticky. prepped and primed and we're ready for eyeshadow. I'm using the color pop, the cute AF palette. Excuse the mess on my palette, my kids got into it and well, that's what happens when you have kids and you leave your makeup out. Ah! Okay, so I'm gonna be using this color right here, this one, just as a transition shade. Um, I'm just gonna apply it in the crease, a little bit above the crease. I have a little bit smaller eyes on the bottom, so I'm just gonna go a little bit above. All right, now that we're done using the transition color shade, we are going to use this color right here and we're just gonna put it in our outer crease kind of like a V on the edge so I'm going to take a smaller blending brush dip in, tap off and start adding it to the outer crease and down the eyelid kind of like a V Okay, so now I'm just gonna go back with the brush I had the first time that I was using the first color with and I'm just going to blend them two together so it doesn't look so harsh. Okay, now that they are both blended, I am going to take this orangey shadow and apply it to the lid a little flat brush and I'm going to apply it to my lid. I'm just kind of using padding motions to get it on so that the color can stay intact a little bit more. I'm not really trying to smudge my brush across. I want it to really pop. Okay, so I'm really happy with how that looks. Now I'm going to go back in with the dark brown and just darken the edges a little bit, just where the colors mixed, and just kind of blend them a little together while darkening at the same time. I'm gonna speed you through it. No need to watch all this. Okay, I'm happy with how it's looking. This is how it's looking so far. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to dip into this gold color. And I'm going to put that right in my teardrop zone, teardrop area. Just to add some brightness. I'm going to blend it in a little bit to the orange. And then I'm going to take a little bit more and just do it right under my brow bow. 
Okay, now I'm just gonna clean up my edges and the bottom with a makeup wipe. This does have a little bit of a fallout to it. The powder does definitely fall out a little bit. So I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and just clean up this right here then clean up a little bit under and I will be right back. Okay, I went and cleaned it up a little bit and now I'm going to be using a foundation. For my foundation, again, this is drugstore, so I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect. So I'm just gonna take that with my beauty blender, pump a little bit onto my hand, and then I'm just going to start dabbing away. My foundation is all finished. I'm going to go back in with the same concealer I used earlier to prime my eyes to do my under eyes now. Okay, under eyes look good to me. I'm going to add a little bit right here, down my nose, and a little bit on my chin. And again, just blending that in. I'm going to use my air spun powder just to kind of bake my under eyes a little bit. Some powder. Dip my beauty blender into it and then just pack away under my eyes. Okay, looks good. I'm just gonna leave that there while I do the rest of my makeup and then at the end I will brush it off. So, for my bronzer, I am going to be using my Milani Soleil Baked Bronzer and I'm going to be using my bronzing brush and then just bronzing up my face okay that looks good to me that's all I'm gonna do for the bronzer for my highlighter I don't really have a drugstore highlighter but I do have that gold shadow I put earlier so I'm gonna take a little bit of that gold and I am going to just put it on as highlighter and now that my powders off I am going to do under my waterline I'm going to take a small little brush like this and I'm gonna take that dark brown shade again and I'm just going to go on the bottom of my eye my eyeliner for today is going to be the wet n wild um, mega liner and I'm just gonna do a simple wing liners all done I'm gonna add some lashes for my lashes I am going to be using the Ardell lashes they are number two five three okay, lashes are on now I'm just going to take a little bit of mascara to blend them together I've really been liking the LA girl volumatic mascara I'm just gonna take a little of that just to comb my lashes and the false lashes together okay that looks good to me I think I'm gonna leave it there now I'm going to finish the look off with the lipstick. I'm going to be using the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the color Nude. Looks like this. And then I'm going to be using my Ulta Beauty Lipstick in the color Nudely Interrupt. So this is a finished look. This is how it came out. I am in love with it. I think it looks so good. Um, not too heavy, not too light. There will be videos of makeup. I'll be doing videos of plus size try on hauls and just a lot more fun stuff to come. So like and subscribe if you liked it. Bye.